welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be doing a review on this Mac, this Mac hauling truck sort of thing. I don't really know, like a Mac semi truck, I guess, with a flat trailer. Let me just move it so you can see the whole thing. Like that it does. This is a set that does. I think that it comes with the JBC 4CX. If you can. See that says 4CX, JBC 4CX, the backhoe, let's get on at the thing, let's zoom out, let's go ahead and get on with the review, and we're also going to be showing four vehicles that we have already done reviews on, and one that we have not, but has been in the whole collection video, if you haven't watched that, the Jeep. Unlimited, I think it's a Wrangler or something, Wrangler, I don't know, it says Jeep Unlimited. That's it, so let's go ahead and get on to the review. So first we're going to be doing it on the semi-truck. Now we're just going to do it itself. It has dual wheels in the back, you know, six, actually like it's a, you know, it has six wheels, but I think it has a little more than that because the duals in the back has a single wheel here and then double wheels in the back it has a little spare tire it has folding in and out mirrors opening doors the same thing for the other side and then it also has opening hood it's just over on the other side see opening hood you can see the engine let's just move the camera there see the, the thing next let's get on with the 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 trailer and the JBC one thing before I do the do start doing the video start doing the JBC and the trailer and here's the back it has dual wheels so it'd be four eight so it has ten wheels on this thing Plus this one would be 11. So, and then plus the trailer would be 6. So 11 would be around like 17. So it's not quite an 18 wheeler. It would be like a 16 wheeler without this world wheel as a wheel. So it would be like a, a 16 wheeler. Let's just say that. A 16 wheeler. Not counting this wheel. So let's get on to the JBC and the trailer. First, let's do the trailer. This little thing can go on top of it, which I will do at the very end of the video. What this little thing does. Then, so this is a backhoe. The JBC will be doing that later. Now we have removable sides right here. These are removable. You can remove it both on each side. It has. Uh, the, things that hold the front end up and then it has the the, the little things that secure uh, a vehicle in place smooth that back it can go a lot farther back as you see you can there has little straps so you can secure these these straps do come off so you can lay it down like that it does that on both sides I just don't want to have to show everything to waste time. Let's just stick that back on. It doesn't really matter. So, it also works with this. This little thing. The cat. I've done a review on that. Haven't seen that. Watch one of the videos. I think it was the last video. The last video. Pops that on. Like that. It can be like that. You can raise it. Scoop up. Also, there's this guy. If you haven't seen the video, uh, watch that video. The same video as the cat, the caterpillar. So you know, it goes this. It's a little longer. So you can move it a little, so it can secure in place better, like this. So if you uh, this, so it can, like that. Oopsie, the trailer fell. 
You can put it the other way if you want. And that, it goes on to the, the thing, the tray right there. And it can also fit the claws necklace. 267F. I don't even know if you call it 267F or just or just or just uh, or just like 267F. I don't know, but it's pretty sure or like 20 or like 267F. So it can fit a tractor. It's the same thing with the claws and actus, 26, 7, 267, whatever, you know, something like that. With the uh, scoop, like that, it can fit to that, it goes on to there. That's kind of handy with the little thing. They can also, the last thing it can fit, I uh, will be doing a review on, is this Jeep. Then go, oopsies, it fell. Ugh. Let's just say it goes like right there. Well, that's good. There you go. It has this to do has the suspension. Not gonna do a lot of details. It was in the collection video. If you haven't saw that, it's pretty cool. I will be doing a separate video on this, like almost some of them. And that's is it for that. There's one in that collection video that I missed, which I will be doing another collection video soon. Like, after I finish reviewing all these, then after that, I'll just be doing, instead of reviews, like, other stuff, like, how much a bucket can hold, and, you know, other details like that. So next, let's get on to the JBC. Here is the JBC. We will be measuring how high the bucket can go, and how high that other one can go. So, let's start off with the back, because that's more the more, most detailed part. Well, the most function, you know, the most stuff that has all the functional stuff has stabilizer legs, both sides. So you know, it stabilizes stuff. In real life, actually, stabilize uh, backhoes actually come off the ground if the scoop, you know, comes out. It does slide. Kind of nice. So if you, you know, so if you can't reach that side, you can do it that way. Now the bucket does move. So say I move this, the bucket moves too. Like that. See? And then this can go down like this. So like that. And it can swivel too. Not sliding, it swivels. And then you can so it can go like this and then it can be over there so it can reach farther and then it can come back in. It kind of snaps back in like that. Kind of loud. And then you can pull it back in, and then it can do whatever. And then there's a steering, movable steering wheel. The wheels do not turn. As you see, I'm moving the steering wheel. It doesn't turn. It does not have a trailer hitch. You can get different attachments for the bucket. And then the seat does turn around. It does move. At least, I think. Yeah, it does move. Kind of clicks into place. Next, let's do the front. Has some detailed bottom. Has no doors. Now let's go ahead and start. It looks like a boiler back on you know the front. I think you can remove the I think you can like prop up this thing. Never done it before, so I don't really know. It's really stuck on there. But this little thing you can dump. Pull back up using this little thing. Let's just put that back up like that. And then also like right here, it can lift up and lift down. Yeah. Okay, I do one thing. Yeah, so this little thing right here, this little thing does right here, is you open the little door, you open this little door, you pop out this thing right there, like that, this little red cap thing. Now this little thing, you stick it in there, somehow. Uh, somehow, which side? The, this little flap thing goes, there goes back. Like this. There you go, and then you can snap in like attachments like lights. You can close the door, of course, like lights, stuff like that. So in case you have like your like a oversized load, you can put this little thing in and put like lights. And then to put this thing back in, the that piece right there, the little thing that has a hole, 
goes like this, and you can just pop it right back in. See? That you need you need to put it in evenly at the, all at the same time. So it so it does it properly. Yeah, something like that. So that's gonna be the end of the video. Bye. Please like and subscribe. Uh, by the way, the ABC, she's not with the camera, can go in the front scoop. It goes around with that with the scoop about. Oops, he's doing it the wrong way. About ten inches, and then without the scoop, probably around like eight, maybe like eight inches, and then the back. Oh, it's running away. It goes high like this around, probably around the same as the front, maybe like nine inches. Let's see. Around like nine and a half inches, maybe a little more. Yeah, somewhere around there. Nine and a half inches. That's going to be the end of the video. Bye. Please like and subscribe.